Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an unknown USB device error message on your Windows 10 computer. So if you come across this issue, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go jump right into it. And we'll start by opening up the Start menu. Just soft click on the Start button one time. Type in Power Options. Best match should come back with power and sleep settings. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Underneath related settings, go ahead and left click on additional power settings. So if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you would have just been able to bypass that and go right to the screen. So if you typed in power options, it would have taken you right here. So whatever plan is currently selected, you want to go ahead and left click on change plan settings across from whichever one corresponds with it. And then you want to left click where it says change advanced power settings. Expand the USB settings selection to call a little plus sign next to it. Do the same thing for wherever it says USB selective suspend setting. If it's currently enabled, you want to click inside of the enabled text, click inside the drop down, select disabled, and then left click on apply and OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. So once you're done with that, close out of here. And I would also suggest opening up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager here. Go ahead and left click on that. Once device manager loads, you want to expand the universal serial bus controller section. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Anything that says generic USB hub, you want to go right click on it and then uninstall device. And just go down and uninstall all of them. Once you restart your computer, it should automatically be able to detect them that they're physically installed, and then it should be able to reinstall them, and hopefully that would have been able to troubleshoot the issue as well. There shouldn't be too many in there. Again, restart your computer once that's done, and hopefully that was able to fix the problem. So close out of here. And again, I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.